welcome back, dudes and dudettes. This is, of course, one and only Light Liger here, and today we're going to be talking about Polkadot, and more precisely, how to stake it. And currently, there is a couple of platforms that allow you to do that, and I'm sure from weeks from on and months from on, there will be more platforms and wallets adapting the token and also allowing you to stake very easily. The, probably the easiest way to do it right now is get Polka Wallet, which is available on mobile phones, on Android and iOS. This is a very convenient and easy way to delegate and get your staking rewards. But that's not what we're going to be doing here in this video. However, you can do the same thing as I did, which was creating a Polka Wallet on my mobile phone and then importing the seed phrase into the extension we're going to be using here today. So this is called the Polkadot.js. Uh, this is a very simple uh, extension where you can import, after you're done the first seed phrase, you can import uh, existing seed phrases into this on JSON files to basically get more wallets into here. And this obviously gives you the opportunity to basically access your funds and staking on your phone and also on desktop. That's why I basically did it. And after you have uh, gotten this uh, extension on your Chrome and Firefox, and I think it's also available on Oprah, so a lot of options there, uh, you install it and you import the seed phrase or create a new one. And obviously you can find it on many different wallets. Math Wallet also supports this. And there's going to be a lot more of these in the future. Even MetaMask is building something and it's going to be very easy in future because I think a lot of platforms and uh, wallets are really excited to work with Polka Wallet. Uh, sorry, Polka Dots. So we're going to be seeing a lot more different ways to basically stake our tokens. And then there's obviously Looney, which is another option basically to invest your um, or stake your Polka Dot. This requires, however, um, the Looney extension in order to access your uh, wallet here. So. And I don't like that extension, by the way. And here's a bit of a guide by Polka Stats. I'm going to leave that also in the description. It gives you all basically how to do this. And first thing you need to do is go into the actual polka.js.org. And then you pop out your extension. You can refresh the page. And then there will be a pop out. And you authorize the connection into this platform. And now um, you go to accounts and accounts. And this will lead you where your accounts are basically and will give you the information on the balances and the actual names, everything. And in case you want to see, send me some dot. This is a good time to do that. Obviously, more tips means more content around Polkadot, which I would love to obviously do. And you can also send from here in case you want to tip somebody or just send funds to your other account and etc. That's what the account tab is for. Make sure that you have the right addresses because here it will show a key that starts with five something. And I believe this is uh, not the actual address. So it starts with 14 or something like that. So next up, you go to network and staking. And there we go into and here you can see a lot of different things. Uh, I mean, these validators, stakers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, do your research, which you're going to be uh, working with, because you want to always give the money to people who are building stuff on the blockchain. There's a lot of ones that are going to be giving you lower fees, but in the end of the day, your backs are going to be doing better as more people are building something on the blockchain and inherently increasing the value of the Polkadot ecosystem. So we're going to be clicking the nominator, and here we're going to be choosing which one we're going to be uh, sending the money from never sent all of it. The controller account is the one that is going to be doing the staking. To my understanding, the stash account is not able to do that. So make sure that the controller account is here chosen uh, where it has the balance. And I'm going to be putting this amount of dot into the staking right now. And it's going to be locked there for um, 28 days until we can be unlocking it. Uh, the payment destination can go into the stash account or the controller account, whatever you desire. I guess you could send it to, I mean, in this case, it doesn't matter because they are one and the same for me. But uh, the guy, I guess the idea is that, you know, it will automatically move them to the controller account and then start staking for you. 
I don't know if you have to do that automatically or sorry manually or automatically but we're gonna be keeping it as it is right now then we're gonna be clicking next and now we're gonna be choosing the actual validator or nominator whatever you want to call it and it's important that as I said choose something that is building something so I'm gonna be using um, Polka stats because that's the one that I know I'm probably gonna be changing it people can show me some suggestions here and in case you want to start sponsoring my channel as a validator nominator whatever uh, you can do that and now we're gonna be seeing um, the uh, fees involved and that is not whole 19 polka dot that would be crazy that is milli dot uh, and you know we can give a tip here um, I'm gonna give them a very small tip because I'm a fucking poor guy <laughs> I mean, they should be tipping me for sponsoring or not just sponsoring, but featuring their stuff. But I'm going to send them a small tip. And that's a kind of nice thing to do, actually, because people need funding and stuff like that. And then we're going to be sign and submit. And here we can see everything regarding that. And here we see the actual tip. This is not 10 million dot. That is milli, milli um, things. And then we're going to be putting the password here and we're going to be signing the transaction. And now we'll be broadcasting it and it will probably taking us some time until the actual um, thing will be um, coming. And let's see if we can find somewhere the actual payout. So this works similar to Cardano. So there's going to be some time until we are going to be getting the first uh, rewards. So there's the epochs and we are not uh, staked into or we are not part of the first epoch. So uh, we, we have to wait until I get my first reward. Uh, let's see if we can see the claim tokens. And I believe here you can um, take the tokens that have been staked into um, the system. And let's see if we can find, there's a treasury here, council, democracy. I can't seem to find it, but it's somewhere here on this website you can definitely find and maybe on a sort of other explorer, but that's how easy it is to basically stake your tokens on Polkadot. It's not very complex. I think you just have to put some time into finding the actual validator you're going to be putting the money into. Thanks for watching. I'll be used to send some tips. If you are a dApp creator on Polkadot, if you want to work with me, you can drop me an email at this address below. Make sure to subscribe, like, and check out my other videos on the channel as well. I am very excited about Polkadot in the future and what it's able to do in this space. And that will be very, very nice to see in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.